Today, what I'm going to show you is how to create SEO optimized content that actually ranks using Claude. And Claude is one of those powerful and sentient ways to write content in 2026. I really call Claude the depth engine because ChatGPT is like really good for quick tasks. Gemini is great for research, etc. But Claude goes deep. It understands context like no other AI. It remembers what you told it 50 messages ago. It creates content that actually sounds human. And that's why I built this workflow around it. Okay. So you can see here, for example, this website went from what, two clicks a day, all the way up to 176 clicks a day. And the trajectory of that website is really nice, as you can see. So the way that we're doing this is basically we use this prompt to generate content. And so you can see over here, if we take this SEO optimized prompt, as you can see, this is actually from the AI profit boardroom community that I run. And if we plug in our keywords, so for example, let's say our keyword is like SEO training Japan, and we've got some context about who we are, what we do, et cetera, where we want to funnel traffic to, we've got the links right there. And then we can click enter and that will actually create an SEO optimized article much more likely to rank, okay? Don Morell here, ready to learn, my man. Thank you very much for joining, Don. Appreciate you. We're gonna keep generating this. See, you can see how it's beginning to create the content. Now, one of the best things about Claude, if we have a look at that website that's ranking really right now, just to analyze, reverse engineer what's actually working. If you go to the blog here, you can see some examples of the content we've created, right? So basically, if we're targeting like the keyword rank with Notebook LM or Notebook LM SEO, et cetera, what we're gonna do is put that inside the title and then we have the introduction, a video that basically talks about the same topic and is semantically related. We have links to our funnels to funnel traffic to it. And then we have a breakdown throughout the page of exactly what we're covering, including some FAQs at the end, right? And you'll see that Claude is beginning to create this inside artifacts and it will generate the content. Now, we just consistently publish content around low competition keywords throughout the page and just Typically, we'll take all of our videos and then turn them into video transcripts, right? For example, if I type in, I don't know, notebook SEO onto Google, what you're going to see here is my website ranks, but also a lot of my videos rank as well. So you can see here, one, two, three, four different videos ranking on the first page of Google for that particular keyword, another video right there. And then we've got another article right there that's ranking for this keyword, right? And a bunch of shorts, which is pretty crazy as well, right? So basically what I'm showing you here is you can dominate the first page of Google pretty quickly and easily for that particular keyword, just using these methods. Now, one thing I haven't actually checked for this particular keyword is whether we are ranking inside perplexity and other AI search engines, type in how to do notebook LM SEO. Now, obviously people aren't going to be typing in that sort of keyword directly, but they will be typing around stuff like that. And AI search particularly, it goes so deep that it will find many different angles to show you in your content, right? So if we have a look at this particular keyword, what you can see is it's reviewed the sources, right? And if we have a look at this one, where's that source it from? So that is an article from LinkedIn. We've got an article from my website, juliangoldy.co.uk inside there. What else have we got? We have a YouTube video of mine in the top 10. So that's one of my videos. And then also let's have a look at, oh, we also have a Reddit article ranking inside Claude as well right inside the Plexi, sorry. So you can see how you're ranking and we are ranking multiple times for this keyword. We actually show up number one right there for this particular keyword. And with a combination of YouTube videos, plus taking that YouTube content, those transcripts, and then plugging them into a tool like Claude, it's quite easy to rank inside these AI search engines. I think everyone's worried that SEO doesn't work anymore or it's hard to get traffic from Google. I think honestly, if you have the right strategies, you can rank more times inside the top 10 rankings. So look at us ranking right here. We've got one, two, three, four, four different let's have a look at this one yeah well four different articles or pieces of content ranking in the top 10 for that particular keyword and then if you have a look at google itself we're ranking one two three four five let's have a look six times on the first page of google plus our shorts so 10 times on the first page of google legs so we've got four shorts ranking on google for that keyword right and so it's just it, it's almost getting easier to do SEO if you know the right strategies. And that's what I'm showing you today, right? And so most people use Claude like a fancy search engine, ask a question, get an answer, move on. But that's like buying a Ferrari and only driving it to the grocery store. But you're missing 90% of its power. So the real magic happens when you give Claude context about your business, trail on your voice and use it as a thinking partner, not just a tool, right? So what we got here, for example, Don says, I'm getting it. How will this method work with barbershops and hair salons? Absolutely. We actually have a lot of clients who are local businesses and some of them are hair salons and that sort of thing. So I want to show you some examples of how you can do this 
using your business, right? And if you have the name of your business as well, I can even do it for you and create an article for you right now, just to show you an example. In the meantime, I'll just show you some examples of how you can do the keyword research. Miguel says, can you help me? Absolutely. Feel free to post any questions. Always happy to help. And then Don, if you want to post what your website is as well, I can actually work on creating some content for you and showing you your process. In the meantime, I'll just go off and do some random keyword research for a barber anyway, right? So if we say, for example, barber, New York, right? Something like that, right? Relatively medium keyword to rank for. So there is some competition for that keyword. What I would typically do is just go for keywords that are low competition, like you can see here. So for example, like KD 10 and below is perfect, right? So if we have a look at the keywords down here, for example, what we've got best barber, New York, that's a pretty easy keyword to rank for very easy, high traffic potential. Boom. We could go for that, right? So how are we going to do that? What we would do here is we're going to start a new chat and then we're going to take that particular prompt that we took earlier. We're going to go over to Claude here. We're going to plug in the keyword. For example, if we found an easy keyword like best barber, New York. We're going to plug that into the keyword section and then we can start creating the content. Now, of course, what you also want to do is just change this so that you have your actual website and everything else ready to go inside here. So what you would do, for example, I'm going to open up a new tab and we'll create a sample like this, but for a barbershop. So I'm going to type this in. I'm going to say, rewrite this as dummy text for a barbershop in New York plus customized to a barbershop website instead, right? And basically what I can do is just get some dummy source context. I can plug into the prompt to show you the outputs in a second. So we'll wait for that to load. And you can see here, for example, okay, Marcus Williams, he owns Blade and Fade Barbershop in Brooklyn, blah, blah, blah. Here's a page he wants to direct traffic to, right? So what we can do is take that source context, like you can see, we can plug it into this source context section. So we're going to say, create an SEO optimized article for this, keyword equals this, is the source context about me blah, blah, blah. And then we'll hit enter, right? And so we've found the keyword research that is critical. You really want to find easy keywords you can go after. And the easier they are, the easier it's going to be to rank. If you can find those KD zeros or those KD fives, et cetera, on Adrefs, you're already winning. That's actually the first thing we do for clients as soon as they sign up to our service is like, we make sure they get some easy keywords to rank for. And now you can see we're beginning to create the content and it's going to start creating the content as you can see. So we'll wait for that to load, but you can see how that's just going off, creating the content, building it out. Now, if you actually want to have a look at how we've written this, we said we'll make sure it's easy to read, conversational, UK grammar, FAQs, headers, etc. Probably we'll change that to US grammar, honestly. First person is pretty good. And then we've done the rest, right? And now you can begin to see that it's actually working. It's actually creating content. So. That's basically how the whole process works. Now we'll come out to the finalized output in the end, but that's essentially how you can do this. And what you can also do is you can create a Claude project and then that's pre-stored with your writing instructions. So for example, if you go to the project section here, we've actually got like a project for writing tweets, a project for writing live stream notes, right? We've also got an offer builder. So this helps me generate new offers for the AR Profit Boardroom, my SEO services. Also have all these different ones. Now, the main point here is like, you can easily create a new project, plug in the prompt that we were talking about earlier, and then it can create content in your style that actually ranks every time and you just plug in the content, right? And bear in mind, like your content is not going to rank every time, just to be clear here, is the more content you create, the more opportunities you have to rank. So for us, like we'll create content every single day. We know some of it's going to rank. We know some of it's not going to rank. We know some of it's going to rank in six months, maybe 12 months, and that's okay, right? We'll play in the long game. We want to rank for decades, not for weeks or days. And that's essentially how we're doing this for this website, right? And bear in mind, like before we started doing this, we were getting like three clicks a day. Now we're getting 176 clicks a day and that's growing, right? 176 times 30, that is 5,280 traffic per month for free. If we times that by 12, that's 63,000 people that find our website every year for free directly from Google, let alone all the AI search and everything else and all the other content that we publish as well across multiple platforms, like for example, Reddit. Very powerful strategy and Claude helps you automate pretty much all of that. And so thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is I have plugged in the strategy that we've talked about today. I've actually created the depth SEO blueprint inside the free video notes, some example prompt seekers. I've given you a 30 day plan as well. If we have a look at Claude here, it's generated the article for the barbershop now. So if we have a look at this, Let's see what we've got. There we go. So we've got the article, as you can see, we can actually save that to drive if you want into Google drive and you can see the content is good to go. Right. And that's targeting the keyword, New York barbershop, right? Best barber, New York. That's the one. Right. And then you can see it's optimized it in the title, the first line, etc. And uh, yeah, that's how we generate the content itself. Now. 
But if you go back to this as well, some people are going to say, well, AI content doesn't rank on Google. The new empowering belief is like AI assisted content ranks, right? Pure AI garbage. Of course, it doesn't rank, right? There's a big difference here. If you say, hey, chat GPT, write me a blog post about dog training. That's a, there's a huge difference between that and saying, hey, using Claude with brand context, your expertise, your examples, and your editing, Google's much more likely to rank that, right? It doesn't penalize AI content. They just penalize bad content. And bad content is generic, unhelpful, thin, and copied from everywhere else. Good content is specific to your audience, genuinely helpful, comprehensive, and has unique perspective. And Claude helps you create content faster. That's it. Good content faster. All right. Other people will say, I need to write everything myself to maintain quality. I would say the new empowering belief really is like the best content is AI drafted and human refined, right? So for example, like Muhammad Ali didn't become the greatest by training alone. He had trainers, coaches, sparring partners, and they helped him become better than he could have done alone. And Claude is your content training partner. It drafts, you refine, it suggests you decide, it does heavy lifting, you add the expertise. And the result is you get better content in less time. And that's not cheating, that's just smart training, right? So feel free to get the video notes from today inside the Air Success Lab. We've also got a 30 day plan on exactly how to set this up. And what we've also included here is all the notes from today and all the prompts. And that's inside the AI Success Lab, which comes with a community of 42,400 members. If you go inside the classroom here, you can get everything from today inside this section.